Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing amazing as always and it's me Joe as always and today I want to talk about Terrifier 3 just because I am so happy how this movie turned out. It's an amazing movie. It's an amazing horror movie. It's fun. It's gory. It's bloody. It has it all. And, you know, I and I love that. <laughs> I love that. I love the first two movies. This one is like so so good. And this movie made more money at the box office so far than Joker 2. Let that sing in. Essentially, an indie movie made more money. You know, a movie, mind you, with a budget of about $5 million, or $3 million even, made more than a movie from a big studio, Warner Brothers, that had a budget of $200 million. <laughs> That is absolutely insane, you know, and I, and, and, I, and I'm not surprised, right, because I actually was very disappointed with the Choker 2, uh, Folia Adu, but Terrifier 3 really just, it was amazing, you know, it was an amazing show of what people that are passionate can do and how awesome it can turn out to be, and it really did, it's an amazing movie. But I don't want to talk about how amazing it is today. I want to talk about the effects of Terrifier 3, right? This movie, when it came out, like a week ago or so, you know, people were puking. People were walking out of theater. Like, there are a lot of clips on, like, Twitter and TikTok about this. And it's just so cool. And, you know, theaters had some, like, letters, uh, you know, before uh, you walked into the movie. They had letters, like... Oh, or notes, you know, saying like, oh yeah, this movie is like really gory and bloody and, uh, you know, if you're really sensitive to this stuff, you shouldn't be seeing this movie. Just a lot of this stuff. And it sort of reminded me of like the golden age of like horror in the 1970s, right? Movies like um, The Exorcist. Where uh, people were walking out of the theater, people were people were puking, people were like scared for their lives, and this sort of disappeared uh, over time. And it makes sense, right? Because people got used to seeing and watching movies, and uh, people got used to gore and blood in movies, even in non-horror movies, and so it all makes sense. But seeing this today just amazes me, and it's so awesome to see that a movie can do this even today and it's wonderful david howard thornton is amazing as are the clown and i really he said that he wants to do something in a big hollywood movie and i really wish him all the best here just because i really loved his performance as are the clown in this movie as well obviously uh the previous two movies and honestly, he would be a great Joker, but I don't want to get into that. He even was a Joker in, like, a short fan film. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. It's just awesome to see a horror movie succeed. And on this level. And I also talked about this multiple times uh, here on the show, but I sort of am really happy about the fact that Terrifier is not, like made by big studios, you know, that sort of really makes me happy, that Terrifier is this small little franchise that made it, and that's just so awesome. Yeah, Terrifier 3 is amazing, I love the movie so much, I can't wait to get the Blu-ray version of the movie um, once uh, it comes out, but yeah, it's amazing, and I love the fact that there's so much going on around the movie itself, it's awesome, and again, uh, Damien Leon, the director of uh, Terrifier 1, 2, 3, uh, he's, he was offered to make this movie <clears throat> under a big studio, you know, but he refused because they would force him to uh, dial the movie down when it comes to gore and blood and all that. And l let's just be honest, Terrifier is mainly about that. It's essentially a really bloody, gory horror comedy. Um, so I I'm so glad that he made the movie that he wanted to make. And it looks awesome, by the way. Like, even though this is like an indie movie, it doesn't look like an indie movie. Like, everything from the cinematography 
to the score, to uh, everything, to the lighting. It just all looks really, really good. So, yeah, Terrifier 3 really just made my 2024 <laughs> in terms of how great a horror movie can be and what effect uh, it, it can have on on us, on horror fans, but also on non-horror fans, because some people were walking out uh, during that opening scene, which was really brutal, but uh, yeah. So, I don't know, it's just cool and I wanted to talk about it. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for today. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care and bye.